folks, this is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week, we go seven hours a day, we go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. We're kicking into September. Can you check that out or what, man? Don't make assumptions. No, no, don't take anything personally. Transform your life. When you refuse to take things personally, you avoid many upsets in your life. Your feelings of anger, jealousy, and even sadness will simply disappear if you don't take them personally. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 250, NASDAQ down 37, SP is off one. Gold, gold contract up $19, trading at 2556 an ounce. We have silver up 18 cents, $29.81 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck 45. $75.95 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10 year note, down seven ticks, trading 113.10. The 30 year off 13 at 123.18 in King Dollar. King Dollar trading up 270 ticks at 101.363. The euro is out here at a price point of 110. The yen is at 144, and the British pound is at 131 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the NQs, let's get over there and take a look at it, man. You've given it up on price today. This is when, guess what? When you get corrections, surprises to the downside, and that's exactly what you have out here today. Just out of nowhere, boom, you're up 250 inside the NQs, and then all of a sudden you're down 30. Accelerated down in a monster way. So the real trip here is that, okay, is it going to hold at these price or are they just going to nail it right into the close, meaning sell down the next one into the close. Now, my take is that we're going to sell down. The reason I'm saying that is that when you have a failure that's this dramatic, meaning that the NQs, folks, just went from 19,693 to 19,372. That is a monster movement, okay? And so... Because we had been going sideways for, it looks like, three hours prior to that. And if you want to see how price and volume move markets, folks, this is just a beauty to look at. You can see the longer that we stayed up at those highs, look at those volumes just drop off. I mean, beyond belief. You start accelerating down, volume start expanding up. Bottom line, I suspect we go to the E-minis, and you're going to see the same type of setup. So the E-mini, when we talk about highs to lows, 56.63. You know, so the bottom line is that we've uh, done, uh, what, we've just come down 50 points, 50 S&P points. If we take a look at this, same type of setup, up at the highs, no volume whatsoever. Now, on the Qs, the Qs stayed at the highs longer than the, the SPY did, meaning the, the SPY, you only get five bars up here, which is 50 minutes, okay? But you can see the contraction was huge. And subliminally, which is really so cool, if you're really bisecting and dissecting this, you're going to see that. And these little bars, you're going to pay attention. When we come, when we come off that high, you can see the, the volume expanded, 23,000 contracts. Next bar sideways was only 24. Next one going down 22. And then forget it. Then it just blew out to the downside. 15,000. Well, no, 30. Was that 38,000? Yeah, 36,000. And then 68,000. And the low right now has 68,000. And it hasn't been tested. We're testing this low, man. The low hasn't been tested. So we go into, let's go into the note and bond market because this is pretty dicey here, man. And what I mean specifically is this. I brought this up yesterday. The note and bond market, folks, has not been able to get any traction. 300 and... Let me look at this for a second. TYA. Let me look at this one. We only have this much volume today, meaning it should be pretty good. That it still would want to go higher. But right now... Okay. Okay, so there's only... 314,000 contracts. That's light contract volume. That's still saying, though, that this thing wants to get down to the 113, 112, 16 area. Now, the dicey thing 
about this is that it, it looks to me that the, the market itself was way ahead of the Fed. Because if you look at the market, you're going to see 3.86 on the 10-year, right? Well, the Fed is at 5.25 to 5.5. So this is out of whack. So what that's also saying to me is that as we approach September 18th, more than likely, we're going to see these things get tighter. And what I mean by tighter, it looks to me at this particular point that the market is actually going to sell the note and bond market down, and the interest rate is going to be a little bit higher. And so it will come to the point that, yeah, when we get to the 18th, that spread between the 10 and the Fed fund rate is going to start shrinking. That's what I expect we're going to see happen here. Let's go to the Dow Industrials and see... Uh, did the Dow make a new all-time high out here? It sure did. And it failed. So this is going to be interesting. So let's see. We're, we got to 41,577. And 41, the number to keep your eye on is 41,376. That's the number. You can look at this one here also from Monday, which is 41,420. Uh, yeah, 420. So those numbers there, the reason you want to watch those numbers, you get a doji set up, number one. If we go to the diamonds, we take a look at the diamonds. Let's see how this is set up. Now we take a look at the diamonds, and what you have here inside the diamonds is, oh, look at that. Oh, baby. The diamonds have volume. Man. Well, the cool news here, <laughs> we get volume in the diamonds. So the cool news here is that even if we get this failure, you know, we're not going to have a failure failure on volume. We're going to have a failure on price. But that's also saying that we'll be back up to those highs, which is pretty cool. Because the way you want to set this buy up is, you know, we get the high volume low that's from August 5th. As we start moving into that area, what you want to see is that you want to see the volume explode before you get to the lows. Because if you're a bull... If exposed before you get to the lows, it's like heaven on earth, because as you get to the lows, most of the time, you're going to see a rejection of lower price, particularly if the volume has already exploded before that. And whatever it is, people will be scared to buy, though. That's the bottom line. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.